My name is Janelle Gector. I'm the QIDP at the Renova Center. Marianne Hashard, ASTAC. And I'm Kevin Trum, Administrator of the Mental Health and Intellectual Disabilities Early, Inter Early Intervention Program. Yes, you are. <laughs> still, still the same role. Kevin's joining them today because he's uh, being one of the referring agencies for the residents at the Renova Center. This is of interest to them, too. He has a lot of experience with the agency, too. So. Okay. Danelle, you want to <coughs> take the lead here? Or? I think Mary is going to I'm Pat. No, that's okay. okay. I'm passing we, it to her. We put her in the middle, though. <laughs> um, well, in the absence of uh, Roman, I have a statement to read um, that I think will explain everything. Renova Center is recommending that the program reduce its certified capacity from 25 beds to 24 beds. Regarding this, I have a statement to read on the behalf of Roman Shehe, Administrator of Renova Center. The Renova Center is certified as a 25-bed intermediate care facility for individuals with intellectual disabilities. We serve individuals who have severe, profound, moderate intellectual functioning and require assistance in personal care needs such as bathing, feeding, toileting, and dressing. Most are nonverbal and non-ambulatory. The state regulations that govern, govern the ICFID programs require that a facility maintain a minimum average rate of occupancy at 98%. And if a waiver of this regulation is not approved, a reduction to reimbursable costs is calculated at time of audit. Renova Center has been unable to maintain the required 98% occupancy rate for several years. Occupancy rates since 2009 have ranged from a high of 96% to a low of 82%. Seven months into this fiscal year, the rate is 81.28%. As of today, Re Renova is serving 20 individuals, leaving five vacant beds. While Renova has admitted several new residents in re recent years, there have also been deaths. Additionally, many of the referrals that Renova Center receives are for individuals for which we are unable to adequately meet their needs, such as individuals with severe behavioral needs, or individuals who are too medically complex for our program. In addition, it is important to note that advances in technology and an increased emphasis and availability of new programs and services over the years has enabled family members to provide the care and assistance necessary to keep their loved ones in the home setting for a longer period of time. The state regulations also allow for a waiver of the minimum occupancy requirement. However, to be eligible for the waiver, a program must be less than 16 beds or increasing or decreasing its certified capacity. By, reduce, by reducing the capacity by one bed, we think this will allow Renova Center to be eligible for the waiver of the regulation and thus avoid a disallowance at time of audit. It is also our understanding from the state that Renova Center will be able to increase its certified capacity by up to two beds if and when the need arises. If approved by the commissioners, a, the next step would be that a letter of request will be submitted to the Department of Health for their approval in which case it would be effective during the current fiscal year. And as you know, we've had a couple of workshops on this uh, where Marianne's been in and Roman's been in and questions have been asked. Marianne would seek the answers, get back and forth. So we started this conversation, I think, in uh, September. That's about right. So what we're looking for uh, is a motion to authorize uh, uh, Roman and Marianne to move forward with the decertification of one bed at Renova Center. I'll second. All right. Are there any? I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? No. Okay. I just wanted to say thank you for your diligence. This is a very um, sensitive issue, uh, but the fact that the state is will willing and to allow us to increase by more beds if we have the demand for those uh, residents uh, is what swayed me, <laughs> quite frankly, because 
I think that as commissioners, part of our duty is to take care of those who can't take care of themselves. So this makes the decision easier for me, and I want to thank you again for following through, Miriam, and, and getting the state to put that in writing. You're welcome. Thank you. I really see no downside to this. Uh, there's $100,000 at stake. Uh, that's a big number, and the fact that we're so far away from being at full occupancy, even after we've liberalized the application process to try to enhance the, uh, the that percentage. So we've done, and that's probably five years ago we did that. But it's, um, and, and a large number of our residents are from out of the county. But, you know, we still couldn't get the number up to where we need. So this is a good remedy, and uh, the downside is very, you know, I don't see it, any downside at all, really, to it. So I agree. I agree. Very good. Thank you. Kevin, did you want to comment at all? Or Always what my first concern is what's best for the people that we serve. Yeah. And uh, and Renova has always done a great job of serving individuals with significant needs. So um, I, that's not a question in my mind. And then uh, <clears throat> I know the finances of Renova had been uh, really in a difficult situation for a number of years. And um, the work with Marianne you know, really has fixed that. And she has. It, it, it really has. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> the reality is, you know, today more and more people live in the community than they do in somewhat of an institutional setting because there's more and more supports out there that, that didn't exist many years ago. So it seems to be a natural evolution that, you know, the, the number of people going into a, a facility like Renova would decrease over a period of years. So it does make sense to me to reduce the number of beds by one because, as Commissioner Phillips said, it's a significant amount of money. Uh, that's involved, and it, it seems like there's no downside because if we need to increase it again, it can be increased in the future. Yeah. And thank you for your input. Certainly. Okay. All right. Uh, motion to have yeah, the motion. We just need to vote. Okay. All those in favor of the motion to uh, decertify one bed at Renova Center indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed. So done. Okay.